Okay, three minutes thirty. Ready? In your stance and go. Don't go fast, it's a long time. You're just building in this movement sideways. Keeping your head straight and looking in front of you. Okay, increase your speed. So now it almost looks like a skip. Maintain your stance, so do not do this. <laughs> As you can see, I'm also sometimes doing it incorrectly. So you see, you notice how when you get to the side, you're actually pushing off of that leg to give you the movement. Time. Okay, excellent. Shake your legs loose. So one of the most fundamental things to understand about say fighting and martial arts is it's not so much about your punches and your kicks that you can throw, but how well you can move around in the environment. So yesterday I was being attacked by a dog of around here. Maybe one day it will be on camera, who knows? But it attacked me and through moving, even though it's a faster creature, it still has to maneuver its body in such a way that it can bite you. And even though you're a slower creature as a human, if you have great dis distance control and footwork, animals, other people, you decide whether the fight will happen or not, basically. So, worst case scenario, you don't get hit and it's a stalemate. But it starts with this kind of fundamental movement. 
So the next one. So now we've got this movement. Okay, so now we're going to add something to it. So, lift, lift, then with your left hand, punch, so jab. Lift, lift, jab. Okay, so don't worry about how your punches are, if they like that, if they like that. Just think about that you're going to punch somebody, so you don't want your wrist to be bent like this or like that. You want to be able to hit somebody. So you're thinking about punching a hole in someone's face, essentially. Or, yeah, it's always a violent thought, actually. It's a violent thing. Okay, so we're going to start. 